welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be working on our little spider spell jar and we're going to make this a fun little jar. I've got little spiders in it that kind of give it a spooky little look or you can put candy in it as well. So I started out with a little simple candy jar and I did pick this up at the Dollar Tree and I thought it would be real fun to do something with but I love putting them up on top of the candle holders. It just gives it such an elegance and raises it and makes it a nicer design. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean it with our alcohol. And our alcohol prepares it for our alcohol inks. It gets it nice and clean and makes the inks apply to it. And I always keep my alcohol in a spray bottle so that it's easier just to spray it right on instead of having to fight with a bottle. So that's kind of my little trick. And we're also going to do our little glass. And I also found my glass handle holder there as well. So we've got that all nice and cleaned off. Alright, we're going to be using our alcohol inks and I've been using these a lot in the Halloween videos. If you're not able to find them in your stat booking section, they are Adirondack by Ranger. If you can't find them, also um, BlueWhaleArts.com carries them as well as um, Giraffes Laughs at Bob and Sherry Briscoe and I'll put that up at the end of the film to help you locate them. And I am going to pour it into my little container. And you always want to use an old paintbrush because this will stain it. You don't want to use a good paintbrush. And I always start with the bottom first. Make sure that's the color and everything is going good before I move up to the other part. And we're just going to put this on. And my other one, I did pumpkin. On this one, I wanted to do purple. You can do whatever color you want. Just for the Halloween, I thought it'd be fun to have different colors. Another thing I wish I had was a different size um, crystal candle holder. So I have one shorter and one taller. I think that would be really neat too instead of them both being the same size. So a lot of times you can find them at the thrift store so go look there. See if you can find one that's taller than the other one. They're usually real inexpensive at your thrift stores. I really also like that one of these jars was curved and one was straight. Kind of give them both a different look too. And you also could do them the top one color and the bottom a different color if you wanted to instead of doing them both the same color. But isn't that really pretty? My husband was talking about we need to do a video that shows that you can use this for um, weddings or centerpieces or stuff like that as well. <coughs> If you don't have access to the alcohol inks, you can use the Mod Podge and put your coloring in it. And get that clear effect because we want something that we can see through. We want to make sure it's see through. This one quite as streaky as I normally want my other ones. And let's get the base done. And I'm going to do the inside as well as the outside because then it kind of gives it a double color and it's twice 
is dark. And I like the darkness of it. Just make sure you kind of know where you're at so you don't lose your spot. There's also a black alcohol ink, which is really cool too, that you can use. I should have been working on a tray. I've got some little splatters here and there. That's okay. I'm gonna do the same thing with this guy. I'm gonna do them inside first, then do the outside. section here. You can see how rich purple that got. That's what I was after by doing that color twice. This color is a plant that I'm using here. It's a little bit purple, more purple than the other purple if that makes sense. Okay, so now that we've got that all done and coated. You can see this guy's already pretty dry. I'm just going to go over this with my Sharpie and make this nice and fun. And I'm just going to follow the ridges right down and give him a little bit more detail. Let's see if this other Sharpie's right a little bit better. And it shows up in the orange probably a little bit better but that's okay it's going to give it some detail and just follow it let the pin go in the groove and it'll lead you right down the side of that This goes pretty fast. And the straighter one's probably a little bit easier to do than the swirled one is. But like I said, I really liked the swirled look and I wanted two different pieces. I didn't want them to match exactly. The, um, I've already made it all the way around. Thought we still had a ways to go. Okay. So that is good there. Okay, so we've got him all the way done. And then I'm going to come over to here and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And again, it's probably going to show a little bit better on the orange one than on the purple one. And I probably should have done the orange one for the video. And I'm just following my marker all the way down and what this does is it kind of gives it a spider web look I'm just going to pull it all the way down just at the top of where the glass meets on all those pieces And we've gone all the way around that top part. So I'm going to come and I'm going to do right where it meets on these two. And you can see that show up a little bit better there. And some of these need just a little bit more marker on them. So we're starting to get a spider web look and what I'm going to do now <coughs> is I'm going to, actually I'm going to do one underneath this bottom part all the way in that little groove right there and then right here I'm going to come 
and I am going to go from this point to this point and I'm going to arch it to give it more of that spider web feel. Just to make it more spidery looking. That's really what kind of makes it really feel like that. And then we're going to go up and we're going to finish doing that up here as well. Wherever there's a line on these, we're going to put a black line with our marker just to make it look like we've got the spider webs going here. And then one more right there. Okay, so we've got that all done. And then we're going to come over to our lid. And we're going to do the same thing with our little lid guy here, too. He's kind of got a groove up on top. And we're going to put him all the way around. And then we're going to put him all the way around this little guy. And what I did on this very top is I drew a little spider. Let me lean that up and show you that guy there. It's a little bit more noticeable there. Just so we know that this is our spiders. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. We've got that all on. Now, I took some, probably should have had this drawing a little bit, but we can catch up. I took a piece of cardboard, and this was a throwaway piece of cardboard. I just went to the kitchen and found um, a cereal box, a container, anything like that, and I just made the back part um, black with my black acrylic paint, and I just tore it off in a piece and all I'm going to do is come in with some black acrylic paint. I tore it off to look kind of just like a tag and you could do this with a brush or a sponge or whatever you want it to look like. I'm just going to use my fingers here and we're just going to go around the edges. On the other one I did I actually kind of stamped a little skeleton head underneath and I just didn't think you could see it as well. So another thing you could use is black scrapbook ink just to kind of darken that up. And on this one, I'm going to use red. And we're going to write spider legs. You could write whatever you wanted on here, whatever you wanted to put into the jar. And I'm going to see if we can just darken that up just a little bit here and there. And I actually used my red wax liner with the crayon to kind of stick out on the tag. And I really like that. So. Feel free to do that. That is a really makes it look really, really well. If you're not familiar with that, I have a YouTube video on that. Or jump over to my website, take a look, see what that is. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this around and get him on our little container here. And you can use string, you could use whatever little kind of thing you wanted to on that. Some cording. Actually, I think to make this tag lace flat, come in here. 
and loop it through the hole and pull the rest of that through. That'll make that tag lay flat. And then I'm going to go around it once and twice. And then I put the tag up and I tied my bow underneath it. You also could use raffi if you wanted to, too. I'm also doing a video on potion bottles that are getting a little bit bigger and more extravagant, so check that out. So, got our little bow. And I like the twine on this a little bit better. I thought that would be, but this looks a little bit neater. I like a little bit messier look. I also took a couple little tiny, tiny wires, my black wire, we're just twisting it around a pencil, and we put a few of those in, and that just helps give it just a little bit more on that. So we've got that guy done. And you could do these with whatever you wanted to. You could do them with spiders. You could do them with bugs. You could do them with eyeballs. There's all kinds of fun things that you can do. I had some bigger spiders and I had some smaller spiders. But what is really neat is they come in this netting. And this netting is really great for several reasons. The netting is kind of see-through with a spooky look to it because if you fill this with solid spiders, you can't see the spiders. You just see a glob and you don't have this really kind of a spooky illusion thing going here. So what I did is I took my netting and first of all, I'm going to take some of these spiders and I'm going to put it in the netting. And I'm going to use different shapes and sizes on this one. And I'm kind of um, putting their legs on so that their bodies are kind of pointed towards the outside. And these are usually 99 cents. You get some of them you get 100. And I'm going to use some rings, spider rings, just cut off the ring part. And then try do some different colors in this as well. I'm going to use an orange. And there's these little packets that they also sell that have snakes and bugs and spooks and all kinds of different things. Try your colors. If they don't come out, they're not really showing up, try a different color. Another thing that we can do is we can also stick a little light up candle in here, flameless candle. Now see we've got that going pretty good. So we've got that nice and and neat. And I'm going to grab a flameless candle and just take a look at it. <coughs> because that might also help with showing everything that's off and then you could just open it and stick it turn it on and off too because remember you're still going to have to turn it on and off. So that's a little bit. I don't know if I would think that it was worth the trouble or not. But that's an idea. So now that we've got those in there we're also going to put some on the outside and I like the way the orange is looking. So I'm going to do just a couple on the outside. Don't forget, like we said, you could just use this for a candy holder, whatever you want to do. Okay, I think I'm there. I don't think I want to overdo that and get that look taken away from us. So I'm going to stop right there. And I'm going to put on my E6000. And if you had time to put the E6000 on before you filled it up, you could look through your jar and probably see if this is a little bit straighter. 
So that might be an idea. And then fill it up with the little spooky items. And this has a circle right in the middle of it. So I know exactly where it is. So that is really, really nice. And just make sure you have it on the straight and let that dry. And on the E6000, that's a great glue to do glass to glass and different items like that. And I would let it dry to tell you to let it cure for 24 hours. But you give it a few hours before you even try to move it or mess with it. So that is our little spider spell keeper. So I hope you had a good time. Come over and see what we're doing with the potion bottles. And if you need any items, you can always check out our store on miriamjoy.com. We also have DVD classes on there as well um, for you to um, take a, or excuse me, to purchase to learn different things. So thank you and God bless.